welcome you to the second game of our Saturday triple header here at the Governor Andres B. Bernos Memorial Gym here in the University of Banged Campus in Abra. Lightly against these guys in blue. That's right, those two guys were also part of that Imus team last year and this Binyan team at the start of the season. As to the post, but good defensive stop there by the Marlins. And always, coach, this Sarangani team, despite he will shoot and shoot. That guy is a professional scorer, Carlo Lastimosa, mm -hmm. for Coach Boyd Fernandez. I'm there you go. That's what I was saying. You know, you've got Robbie Manala, who's more than capable to run the pace of the floor with them. Well, Mark Pinker is showing that Binyan too could actually score. Low in the game, he is going to take those shots. Matter of fact, if you look at his uh, percentage, very decent lang percentage. He's shooting 38% from the field, and he's roughly about 29% from three. And so, you know. I'd rather have him shooting the basketball, regardless of the percentages, mm -hmm. rather than have him just holding on to the basketball right. and looking to pass right. as the Marlins continue their onslaught in trans. Para sa Binyan. And you definitely would need him if you want to speed up this game. Oh, wow. And Akub is off to a good start here, knocking down his first three-point shot. Only good for a highlight reel dito para sa Binyan. But slowly, you could see that the skills are now getting developed para kay Poy Poy Akub. Ano lang, you know, composure lang. You know, you know eventually the law of average should, should catch up. Uh-oh. Look out go. below! Poy Poy Akub! Oh, man. And Binyan got another crack at it, but Peña Redondo could not make it. So well with a chance to redeem himself here, and he kisses it off the glass for that finger roll. A really good move by Ryan Sowal. Kimpayan goes to JJ Pido. Pido, pull up oh, jumper yeah. is all nylon. Yeah, ipa talaga ni ni JJ Pido. Well, at least Hansen can actually have really good percentages on the floor. Ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Kimpayan, power dribble. Post to the other side for the reverse. And uh, JJ Pido has helped, you know, stabilize things. Para dito sabi niyan. Oh, 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 boy, boy, Akub. He is rolling right now. Ah, didn't wait for that weak side action anymore. Uh, for Serangani, you know. Oh, oh here he here comes again. Oh, how mention of the padon side. Everybody was on the edge of their seats, waiting for another electrifying slamma jamma. Uh, Jamar Gimpayan, great matchup here at the four spot against Koy Alves. Aktub lines up a three and knocks it down. And Koy Aktub is came, comes to Serangani Marlins. Celso will try to get it back, leaves the follow through, knows that it was going in. Yeah. A little zone here para sa Marlins. Gimpayan gives it back to Tyron Chan. Gets oh, the offensive man. rebound, puts it up, and gets the two points plus the foul. And so far, Walayan. JJ Pido is pushing. He has Aktub on the right side. He will not force the issue. But Gimpayan was left all alone wow. on the baseline. Hindi masyado nabantayan doon, Nicoy Alves. Yeah, that's Ayan. Bam Lopez in the game for the first time. Alves, quick trigger right there from the short range. Well, thankfully, Koy Alves finally connect. Yeah, he's made one attempt. But none from three yet. Oh, that's because in every time that he gets the basketball, as Celso knocks it down from the outside. Now, earlier you saw the Imus Agimat get another loss against the Pasay Voyagers. Pasay moving up in the team standings in the Northern Division. Bam Lopez, right wing three. Hola. Look at Jamer Gimpayan trying to get another offensive rebound. He, his efforts kept that alive for the Tatak Gel, eventually leading to that Binyan Tatak Gel. Skip. Couldn't execute anything from that end. Cardona, he's going to go for that floater. Captain oh. Hook scores his first two points. Well, that Hook shot of his. I'm telling you, I saw it coming a mile away. Mm -hmm. Once he put that ball on the floor, you're right, coach. There was only a few options that he could go to as... And I'm sure somewhere out there, Alwin Aldai is smiling. <laughs> well, it's all original. Eh? Oh, oh. Captain Hook, a quick five points here. Just a quick spin off the bench. Kakapasak palamang Macma Cardona. The score is brought to you by Game Exports, the official online basketball ending partner of the MPBL. Here in this game, para sa kanilang kupunan, they're gonna 
try and address that situation here in the third quarter. But we begin things with J. Mark Maliari scoring their goal percentage of the starters. Ang magiging field goal percentage dito ng Binyan, siguro mga nasa 60-70%. Oh yeah, roughly around that number. Robby Manalang to force them on turnovers to get, get some point out of it. Koy Alves this time converting on the field goal. Andrea mentioned and everybody here inside the venue was waiting to erupt on a conversion by Ronnie Alonte. Instead, we got a conversion coming from J. Mark Maliari. For Imagine man naman yung mga tipong ng player na nakaharap na ni Mark Pinglis sa kanyang karera as Roca Curva leans in and gets the two points off the glass. Well, that, 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 that too in the future. Madaya got to Megan Galang. Good look. Three-pointer is good. Back to the Pinoy Sakuragi. Ayon niya yung tira to. He gets it back to J-Mark. Gimpayan will get the two points. Now, you love the maturity of oh, yeah, from the elbow, right? Near the Agreed. elbow. Agree. And that's a shot that he has been able to make throughout right. the career that, is that right. he's had as Destacamento dials it down from the outside. Double digit, or three points rather. Get a good stop here and convert the other way. Manalang from the corner. Oh. Yes, sir. Well, you can't forget about Robbie. Gani Marlins, but they really just could come up with volume shots and volume makes. Octub gets past Gala. Oh, oh my goodness. Gorgeous finish by Poi Poi Octub. Inside, as you take a look at the quarter scoring on your screens. It was actually a close right. quarter in that third period, Coach Mike. Yeah. But that second quarter is really continuous. Kasi kapag si Mac Mac ang roommate, hindi raw kasi pwedeng magpuyat at bawal din ang distractions. Going back to Poy Poy, kahit dito sa Abra, hindi talaga may tatago ang dami ng fans niya. Pero sabi nga ni Poy Poy, kasabay ng pagsikat ang pagdami rin ng mga kritiko, which is doon that he can fit in and even stand out in the pros as well. A true inspiration for those dreaming to make it big in this industry. Back to you guys. Definitely so. Thank you, Andrea. And Jamar Gibbayan scores. Uh, executing on the offensive side of the floor. Good hop. Maliari able to get that fall away jumper to drop from short range. Well on their way to duplicate or even surpass their bench production from that game against Nueva Ecija. That is right. You know, you have 41 bench points already. Joseph Selso was able to sneak in a basket inside para Sarangani, but so does J. Mark Gimpayan on the other side para Bullets pass to the wrong guy. Uh -oh. This is a 4 on 2 break. Poy Poy Octube gets it to Roca Curva. Clean fast break finish there for Kenny Roger. Ito naman. Dahilan pa yun kung bakit ako ilabas ng coach ko nun. Oh. Oh. Right, so well, finally gets one from downtown. Para kay Captain Hook yun. Oh oh. So well, from the outside, that's all net para kay Ryan Suwal. And Coach Boyd is no. Skying. Medyo nahuli lang sa taas. Mark Pinglis wanted a foul from the bench. Destacamento will finish the two points. And King really just settling for that. Back to JJ. Pido goes to the right. Oh, gets wow. the basket. Lost the foul. The, the, the moment that he got right this game. Yeah, and he's not even mindful of the other guys on the floor. He's just laser focused on Soal. But again... The second guy that's been most underneath by Kawamura. They've had a number of those in this game. Cardona gets it to Gimpay and he will finish the fast break. Aliari has seven rebounds in this game. Kawamura, corner pocket three. Wala. Celso puts it back. Oh, Celso's been so far the most. Para dito kay Joseph Celso. Cardona charges in to Yuki Kawamura and that will count for Captain Hook. Look at him flex on it. <laughs> Shoulder <laughs> shrug and flex on right. the bench. Why not? And they couldn't control the offensive rebound just like this one. And really just turned into more second chance points. Just like that for Binya. Uh, who made that possible? Mac Macardona. Yeah. Didn't just deliver the pass to Jamar Gimpayan, but also got that offensive rebound. Yeah. Joseph Celso continues to work hard underneath. Nakakatawa rin talaga to si Coach Boyd Fernandez. No? Kahit na matatapos na yung game, he's still locked in and focused. Uh -huh. and trying to make sure that everything goes well para sa kanila. Yeah, buzzer. And he has to set that tone for Binyan. After all, 
you know, mga, mga veterano ito and young guys that actually are willing to, to look. Our final score is 77 to 61. This score brought to you by GameX Sports, the official online ending basketball, online basketball ending partner of the MPBL. Basta ending GameX.